Hello, Bobby from Skybrows here showing you some new features and advanced dashboard features of our new platform. So let me go ahead and show you guys. What you see right here is the dashboard. So we're just going to log on in and see the models made right here. By default, um, if you've done some flights, which I have, you can see that uh, there's no video. You have to upload the video. But let's go into one of the models right here let's say this one and as you can see things are a little bit different so instead of a video now you have a little thumbnail player what I mean by that is that when you hover over it it plays a thumbnail uh, just like a preview of the video itself this is a lot faster than loading a video itself of course you can click right here you can go in and you can see our basic dashboard right here I know things really changed right here. Now you can see that you can change the name just by doing that. You can also tag stuff. So let's just say officer. All right, let's just do training. And you can see it says create new tag. Press enter or click it to create a new tag. And you also have the location, the GPS coordinates, the time of day. And of course, this is training right here. So you click save. And as you can see, let's just say test right here, save. You can see that when you're going back into the main dashboard over here, it has changed as well as the training. And these tags are really useful uh, because if you wanted to look for training models, you can just search training, click here, and all the training models show up. In addition, by default, these uh, sky brows, wide brows, and ultra models will show up as well. So let's go back inside this model and go into the next tab. You've got flight. This is to share uh, chain of custody right here. So you're able to see where the data is going throughout our servers. We have share. By default, it's off. But if you can toggle it on like this, you'll get a link. So if I open up a new tab, anyone with this link gets the 3D model. It's access to our dashboard and 3D model just for that specific model. Going back here, the more secure way of sharing is share to Sky Browser. Now, anyone can guess this link. Um, it's unlikely, but it is possible. And we also can't track who's clicking this link, so we can't maintain chain of custody. Uh, if this is you know, a model going to a case file, what you want to do is share to Sky Browser. They have to make a Sky Browser account, which is free to do, and then you just put in their email. This way we can track who's looking at the model itself. You also have download right here. Uh, with the download, you can download a LAS file. It's open source, so it works with just about every single 3D model viewer out there, Faro, Trimble, Leica, Cloud Compare, you name it. And of course, you have weather data right here. So this is historical weather data, uh, saved in our service forever, so you have this to access if uh, this does end up going to court. You also have a map view right here. This is at the uh, Jerry Cowell Training Center in LAC in a Irvine, California. Uh, LACRTC was hosting this event. Uh, it was a training session for 20 police officers and uh, we're just training them on drones. So I was one of the trainers there and here is uh, the area. So if we go back here, you can see that there's this little orange man down here. You can drag and drop it and it'll show you street view. Uh, in this case, it doesn't exist because I guess there's no Google cars in the training center, but um, normally, you'd be able to also see Street View right there. Going into the model itself, I won't go over any of the uh, uh, measurements and whatnot because this is advanced dashboard training. But uh, as a rule of thumb, this is a mock officer involved shooting. You've got the little mannequin right there, some guns right here, but you also want to put in node measurements into the scene. In this case, this is a square that's two by two. So starting from this line right here, you get just about two feet right here. And of course, having these known measurements is really useful for testifying for accuracy and whatnot. Uh, SkyBrows models have gone through court. However, all of them have been settled. So it's always good to have known measurements inside here. Now, let's talk about the new features. It's all on the bottom right, right here. I'll just go through them sequentially. So the first one is fit model to screen. What that means is when you click it, it gives you a CSI effect. So I'm gonna click it and bam, it zooms out just like that. So this is really used to wow the jury. Just having this is really, really cool. And the same thing happens when you click on view model right here. Um, if 
you click view model, when it loads, it does that cool animation as well. And just to have that CSI effect, you know, the cool factor inside of SkyBrowse. The next option is this scroll to point mode. So normally, when you're using the viewer, uh, you can, when you zoom in by scrolling down, it zooms into whatever's in the center of the screen. So in this case, it'd be where my cursor is. So if I zoom in, I get about this gun right here. Same thing if I say move down here, I want to zoom in, then you can see I zoom in down here. However, it does cause a few issues, and here's what I mean by that. So suppose you want to take a measurement from this corner of the blue square to that corner. Now, you have to zoom out a lot to do that, and then it's kind of an approximation because it really is like to the tip of your cursor. So you, you got to approximate this measurement and you think it's just about right. And then you have to go back again just to make sure. You see this is off by a little bit. Every little bit counts. And the same thing here. Double click to zoom in again. You can see it's off just by a little bit right there. So that causes you to do a lot of actions just to get an accurate measurement. All right, and SkyBrowse is all about user experience. We want to make your life as easy as possible. So that's why we designed scroll to point mode. So let me exit out and I'll show you. So all you gotta do is click on scroll to point mode. And now when you zoom in, it zooms into wherever your mouse cursor is. For instance, if I wanted to zoom into the top left of the model, I can just by scrolling down. Zoom out, zoom in here, same exact thing. I'm able to just like that really really easily what does that mean well it's really useful for taking measurements so for instance if I want to take that measurement again from this corner to that corner instead of having to take the measurements zooming out and then zooming into one measurement just to correct it now all I have to do is put my mouse in the general direction of this corner zoom in and you can see it immediately zooms in and I can click right here I've set a perfect first point same exact thing over here zoom in and I got the perfect second point just like that without having to estimate at all and you get this measurement just like that so it's a really useful tool right here scroll to point mode right here and then to exit out of it you can just click it again and it just goes back to the default uh, zoom to whatever is in the center of your screen also this tool right here this is just a movement mo mode tool it's mostly cosmetic but basically when you're panning which is right clicking you can see that it turns blue so it tells you that you're panning as well so these are the little things that we add in that make your life a lot easier. And going back to the training itself on the dashboard, I'm going to talk about one big mistake that departments make. For instance, I want to take a measurement from this right bumper of this car over to that square right there. So if I were to take a measurement, I can just exit out of that, take a measurement real quick from left bumper all the way there. It looks just about right, right? But... If you look at it again, it looks like this measurement was entirely missed. And departments usually figure that out. But one of the ways to solve this issue right here is to look down. You have a bird's eye view. To do that, all you have to do is grab any part of the model, hold left click, and move your mouse down. So you get a bird's eye view of the scene. Now you can easily tell which area is which. So both areas are in the scene and now you've got a perfect measurement from this bumper over to here. Or if you wanted to use scroll to point mode, now you can also take that measurement from here. Let's do it to the next corner right here. So I can just zoom into the next corner, make sure it's nice and tight, and get that measurement just like that. So these are just some new features we added into the SkyBrowse dashboard. I wanted to make this video for a training session for our current and potentially new departments that are flying SkyBrowse right now so you understand some of the new things that we've added in. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.